I'm Rob Mackey. I write the lead blog for the New York Times. This week we've been following very closely events in Iran. We've been trying to supplement the coverage our correspondents there uh, have been providing by using the internet. Specifically, we've been looking a lot at uh, citizen journalism posted through Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Flickr, uh, to try and get some more of a sense of what's going on on the streets. Uh, this has been particularly important because there have been severe restrictions placed by the Iranian authorities on the work of uh, foreign independent media in uh, Iran itself. One of the first uh, pieces of video that we saw appear on YouTube was on Saturday uh, showing clashes between opposition supporters and uh, what seemed to be the riot police in uh, Tehran. These kinds of images are familiar in other parts of the Middle East, but we're not used to seeing them in Iran, which is usually a very tightly controlled society. Something else we saw over the weekend was that people outside Tehran in other cities like Shiraz, uh, Mashhad and Tabriz were also recording opposition protests and posting them online, um, probably mainly for other people in Iran to see, but also informing the rest of the world that things were happening outside of Iran's capital. At the end of Monday's largely peaceful protest in central Tehran, there was a violent incident where there were clashes between opposition supporters and members of a paramilitary militia called the Basij. As Monday and Tuesday wore on, more and more clips from different angles, people that seemed to have shot on uh, video cameras but also on cell phones and still cameras, came to light and were posted on YouTube. Relying on evidence based on citizen journalism can be difficult. Um, it's very difficult to verify in the traditional sense. For example, on Wednesday morning, we saw photographs that appeared to be of a rally that was taking place in the center of Tehran. Uh, some of these images were posted uh, through Twitter on TwitPic. Um, we were looking at them and trying to determine whether or not they were genuine when other images appeared on YouTube uh, of exactly the same march in the same location. So we had a good idea that this seemed to be uh, genuinely representing what was happening Wednesday. Then as the day wore on, we were able to get pictures across the wires from professional photographers who were covering the rally from exactly the same locations. On Friday, the Iranian authorities staged a large rally uh, using the occasion of Friday prayers to put the Supreme Leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, uh, before a large number of loyal followers. This was all carried live on state television and broadcast around the country. The opposition decided not to have a head-on confrontation on Friday. They called off a planned protest outside the Friday prayers in Tehran. Since there was no opposition rally on Friday, Iranian bloggers didn't have a new video to point to, but they did want to keep the momentum going, obviously. They pointed throughout the day to videos from Mr. Mousavi's campaign that had been put together to spread his message. With restrictions on the foreign media still very much in effect, it does seem likely that if this weekend brings more large opposition rallies, we're going to depend on citizen journalists to bring us documentation of them through the Internet.